Good afternoon, everyone. It is a pleasure to greet you all through this message, and of course, warmly say that we are in Mexico and we send our regards from the Mexican state. I would like to thank the Commission Unidos Contra la Trata and Voices Against Trafficking for this opportunity to share with you in such a special day, today when we commemorate the Day Against Human Trafficking this July 30th, date given by the UN in 2013. They that should be make this per terrible problem seen worldwide, this contemporary slavery, as well as bring to memory the responsibility that states have to prevent, sanction, and eradicate this horrible practice that harms more lives every day. As president of the Special Commission for the follow-up and implementation of the 2030 Agenda in the Republican Senate, let me express that the eradication of this criminal phenomenon has become a priority of my personal agenda. The 2030 Agenda is very clear about establishing the elimination of all violence forms against women and girls, including human trafficking, sexual exploitation, and it is necessary to achieve the objective of sustainable development number five, gender equality. Moreover, this important international instrument acknowledges that the states need to adopt immediate and efficient measures to eradicate forced labor and human trafficking in order to guarantee the fulfillment of objective number eight, work and economic growth. Regarding the objective of sustainable development number 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions, I would like to emphasize that we seek to end all kinds of abuse, exploitation, and child tra trafficking as one of the most relevant goals. But without a doubt, we need to fight first and foremost for the well-being of infants. That is why in the Senate of the Republic, our duty as legislators has been to create the legal framework to ensure that these objectives become a reality, providing the authorities with useful tools to fight human trafficking and at the same time guarantee legal resources for the victims to restore their lives and continue to move forward, always with a clear objective of hampering impunity. In this 64th legislature, sure, we have noticed that even though the law pertaining human trafficking has a clear and effective structure in our country, it is still a legislation that can be perfected. That is, any law can always be improved. Regarding shelters, for example, we have identified legislative opportunity areas. It is necessary to ensure the availability and quality of these shelters. That is why this year I presented an initiative to create the National Registry of Shelters, Refugees and Halfway Homes that provide assistance to victims that have been rescued of human trafficking with the purpose of providing a clear action path for the authorities. I'm also very happy that my peer legislators have provided ways so that authorities can carry out inspections to these centers, seeking to ensure the best specialists, the best conditions, to achieve the recovery and rehabilitation and reinsertion of all victims to society. Another important challenge that we have faced on this matter has been trying to reduce the gap between the law and the facts. The general law against human trafficking was enacted in 2018, forcing the federal entities to publish their own state law against this crime and to build specialized shelters. Unfortunately, there are still three states that have not yet published their own law, and only six states have shelters specifically created for the attention of human traffic victims. Consequently, nonprofit organizations are the ones who bear this responsibility. That is why, from the upper chamber, we have presented our requests to the authorities to comply with this obligation and solve their commitment to fight against this terrible crime that has harmed so many lives and has caused so much irreparable damage. These are some of the legislative activities that we have carried out in the Mexican Congress to move forward in the respect, promotion, and guarantee 
guarantee of human rights. We are clear that every day that we delay in the prevention and elimination of the modern slavery, it is one more day of suffering for the people than have been captivated by these horrible criminals. If we seek to achieve pacific societies and generate sustainable development, we need to completely eradicate human trafficking and all kinds of exploitation. From the Mexican Senate, we will continue to work in this fight that should not cease until no one else is ever a victim of exploitation and is never forced and hurt in their human dignity. Let's all come together for a Mexico where we all can one day say that there is no buying or selling of a person and his or her dignity. Let's take action now because for many, tomorrow will be too late.